Hey everybody, Omega Alden here, uh, playing some more Civilization VI Rise and Fall. Our Zulu game continues. So, I was thinking about this, and we're having loyalty struggles out here, obviously. Um, my goal is not necessarily to own these cities, so I might just start burning them to the ground. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It's not how I would normally play in these games, but like our goal is to capture the capitals. And these things are just being a nuisance. There's really no need for us to hold anything on this continent beyond what we've already sort of established. So, it might make sense for us to just say, F it. <laughs> Let's get rid of these guys. These cities are just in my way. Get rid of them. And head towards the capitals. Obviously, we'll have to kill all the cities around the capitals if they're causing loyalty issues for us. Because we don't want the capital to flip back. But, in all, uh, I, I think this may be the course of action. Because, I mean, unless we take Paris and then things start going to our side, then I think this, you know, the loyalty struggle over there is real right now. <laughs> and I want to... I want to get it around it, but I don't. I don't know the best way, and to me, it, it feels like right now the best way is to just uh, burn them all to the ground. I don't know in the future for like warmonger runs like this when you're trying to conquer all the enemy capitals or whatever. Like, what is your play for holding them? Obviously, we managed to take this area out. Okay, maybe we should have a. Uh, attacked Brazil first since they're on like the coast. It might be easier to hold coastal empires more than, you know, going into the center cuz the center is getting loyalty hits from everywhere. It's getting you're getting loyalty hits from Brazil, loyalty hits from remaining Mongolian cities, loyalty hits from Paris. So, it may by going to the center of the the continent we that may be the mistake. So like I don't know, we could also look at just reevaluating how we're conquering right now. Let me know what you guys think if you've played some games in there with that lo like with the loyalty mechanic, if you've done some conquering here. What did you experience? How did you get around the fact that like I'm having just massive loyalty issues right now? Did you get around that? Did you run into the same problems as me? Let me know. Cause uh this is I'll probably make a topic about loyalty and on Civ Fanatics just cuz you know I'm interested in what people are doing with it it's a brand new mechanic that I, I don't fully realize yet and it's causing me some heartache here as I have to keep recapturing cities over and over again so I don't know, I'm gonna try to keep the cities for a little while because they are, like, we are able to keep taking them as long as we can take Paris. I want to see if taking Paris is gonna flip things around. It is a high pop city, 17 pop. Population is, I think, the largest contributor to loyalty. Okay, we need to get rid of these guys that are attacking our cavalry. Or artillery, I mean. We're gonna need to back off our artillery here. So we can send this tank in. Probably send this cavalry back too. Swap him out with this uh this tank. Just gonna move the tank up here. Put the cavalry back in. Yeah, we just gotta blast there armies away They're causing us some struggles some strife here let's see let's uh plunder these trade routes to get get some money i'd like to be taking down obviously the the capital first but we got to get rid of some of those units and let's see how long until this goes away we've got a few turns until that comes back that's the city we have to protect for our emergency, so we need to make sure that we're on top of that in a few turns. We're going to have to run some guys back there. Luckily, with tanks and whatnot, it's, it's not too bad, but... If you didn't have a fast mobile unit like that, 
with over overwhelming superiority in numbers. Um, I would I would have lost this, and I would have lost the emergency. I don't want to lose the emergency. So back to the discussion of loyalty. I guess I've been playing some other games too, and and like trying to conquer people in nearby cities, and and you just get loyalty issues. I'm learning to appreciate chopping like chopping rainforest as fast, fast as possible cuz you get bonus to your town size which helps generating loyalty and at the end of the day it's all about generating as much loyalty as possible in in boars So it's a new mechanic. I still don't fully grasp all of it, but let's uh, let's force some enemy unrest here. Oh, we had a promotion there. Whoops. But we do need to get that going. So this is flipping in two turns, four turns, three turns. This is about to flip, I think. And we don't have anything to stop to. Re we don't have anything to fix this once it flips. We do have a pike and shot army, but he's not going to be good enough. I guess we can send this tank over there to help. That might be enough to conquer it. The tank and pike and shot army, and we can put this one in here. Ah, oh, this is a mess right now. <laughs> I really do think that I maybe should just start burning these cities down. I'm not going straight to that yet, but we'll we'll see what happens. All right, we need to make sure that this thing is. In the range of this city, probably. I think it's about to flip. Let's heal up over here. But yeah, we're. I mean, we're 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 making a foothold here. Having all these armies and cores and whatnot is is obviously providing us with a lot of. Uh... <laughs> he wants to make peace. I'm sorry. No peace for you. Actually, I mean, peace may have been helpful there. I don't know if peace factors into loyalty at all. I don't think it does. If you know that it does or doesn't, please let me know, because gut feeling is that it doesn't seem to play a part in it at all. But I'd like to have some actual proof of that. Okay, we we got a great writer. That's interesting. Let's see. Up here, let's just add some units to help out. Let's start making... Uh, I wonder if we're getting supplied. I'm gonna make a supply convoy. It's a new unit. I haven't tried it out. Let's see what we can do there. And these cities are just gonna keep falling and having buildings broken as we take them back and back and back. Until such time as we've conquered enough nearby thing to not not have problems anymore. It's an angel word. Or we give up and start raising all the cities, <laughs> which is also a possibility. All right, let's see. Start a trade route with Sao Paulo. Okay, we need this tank army to heal up and stay here this turn. We need you to stay here to keep the loyalty. We're gonna be able to get our diplomat in here, which will help with the loyalty there a little bit, but this will fall instantly and be a problem. This is about to fall. The, oh man, we're, we're about to have three Cities fall on the same turn. That is not great. Let's see. I just want you to heal up right here. Let's try to see if our tanks with battering rams can do something useful here. I can do some damage to the wall. Let's get our general up there with him. So we're just going to try to whittle away at this thing. I'm going to come take an artillery shot on it and then move back probably. To try to help with these. So, we've done some damage to Paris' walls. It's going to be a slow process right now as we uh, try to work this out. Let's see, let's put our... 
I don't know. We'll put the battering ram right here. I'm gonna need it. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna have some problems the next turn that we have to deal with. So we'll see what can be done when we get there. And you'll just stand here because we're gonna have to deal with some problems. You can. We're gonna put you right there and see what happens. Where you, where are you gonna get placed when this thing flips? So put you on alert to hold it. Alert. Okay, we want to create enemy unrest over here too, so let's just try to create unrest without anything else going on. So it's 13 size. If we can create some unrest, we might be able to alleviate some of our loyalty concerns here. Okay, which cities flip? Something's about to flip, right? Okay, not great. Let's, okay, we can instantly take this back if we can get a tank over here. Or maybe the, the cavalry might be able to make it in. Let's see, can they make it there? Okay, the cavalry can come take this. We can drop this pikeman back into this city. Or even, here, let's put this, uh... you can fire from there, right? Yeah. And then we'll send a single tank unit back to take this. Ah, this is a mess. Okay, we need somebody to defend this one, so you can go here and defend. Luckily, we can take the cities back real easily, but this is really whittling away at our ability to wage war effectively. And these things, we keep... I don't know. I I feel like I probably should stop trying to keep them. Although this is now getting bonus loyalty up here. This city is actually gaining loyalty. And then once this drops in, maybe this will have a chance. It doesn't really help. It'll take the negative 9.5 to negative 1.5. Right. But we're making progress. We are making progress. Like every, even though all this, why didn't, you couldn't fire on the city from there? That's unfortunate. Alright, I don't want you to get hurt more than you already are. Is there a farm, we could go to a farm right here actually. Pillage a farm to get some health back, that's gonna be better. Can you actually attack? You can still pillage and then attack. That's amazing. Okay, so the Paris' walls are down now. Now we have an actual chance of taking Paris back. We've restored these. Yep, keep city. So, because of our overwhelming forces and our bonuses to holding the cities, like we might actually be buying ourselves enough time here. I do think that maybe a different strategy of like raising the cities or something like that could be effective. Or like I said, maybe you need to just focus on taking like areas that aren't surrounded first. Taking surrounded areas is, as we've seen, a recipe for loyalty problems. So I'm interested to see how tactics develop from that. Okay, let's just get... There's no... I'll, this city's gonna flip, but let's just, uh... <laughs> just build a... Just build a tank. It'll take you forever. You can just build a tank as well. You guys, just... Uh, you can repair your campus, I guess. Start repairing your university. That's fine. You guys deserve it. Just stop flipping on me, and everything will be great again. You guys will be wonderful and happy. Everything will be extraordinary. Alright, I'm just gonna leave this guy here so he can help out in whichever city flips next. 
There's not much point in sending him forward. Success is counted sweetest by those who ne'er succeed. Which city is about to flip? Is it this? 44 turns. So we... Okay, th these are fine. It's just this that's popping next. So let's move him uh, up here to be ready to help with that one. Yeah. So this city will flip. We'll get it back. This city flips in a couple turns. We'll get that back. We're not making peace with you unless you're giving us Paris. I didn't think so, ma'am. And oh yeah, we are we're in a dark age right now, which is compounding our loyalty issues. So that's not something that I should be art uh that I should avoid talking about in this thing. It's it's an important part of why I'm losing these fights for loyalty. So can't ignore that, that I am in a dark age right now. Oh, I thought he was going to take it. He didn't take it. Well, that's unfortunate. That is quite unfortunate right there. We're about to get a great artist. We're getting a great admiral. Instant, uh, let's just make a battleship from the admiral. That's fine. He can help us out in some manner. Uh, okay, let's build a zoo. We have amenity problems that we need to deal with. Let's get some more stuff built to try to help out our advance there. Let's get some tanks that we can send over. And With all these free cities that are flipping, we can actually get our bonuses a lot quicker. So there's no need for us to build anything beyond the basic level 1 unit right now. For melee, at least. For anything they can capture a city, we can start as a basic unit. For range, starting as a core or army is going to be better. Uh, let's build an armory here. And let's get a stock exchange to try to keep our money positive. Let's build a tank here. Or actually, let's build a battleship here. Let's try to have a little bit of a navy going you guys you can build a tank here just get get that going I know it's gonna take forever not likely to actually happen all right we can move forward and create our battleship oh we actually get we have the um, we have the what you call it which, we have one of the wonders that lets us use our thing twice, I think. So, that's cool. Uh, we want bombardment for our unit. But yeah, we get our guy again. He can use his ability twice. So we can get two battleships or we can turn it into a, a core. Or what, a fleet, whatever it's called. At this level. Okay, we need to leave him up here. Or I guess we could put him... Over here to help out on both sides. He needs to stay in the city. He needs to stay in this city. Alright, we need to take out... I know you have a rank up, but we need to try to take out Paris if we can. So let's take shots at Paris. How are we looking here? We actually might be able to take it if we send this... Oh, we, we just upgraded this army. Uh, we might be able to take it next turn with... Uh, proper use. I don't want to send him to get hurt right now. I, I want him to be in better shape for next turn. Oh, we have a cavalry army just sitting over here. Sandwiched in. That's not great. He got pushed out when... Uh, when this city flipped, probably. So that's unfortunate placement, but he'll survive, hopefully, and we can get him some support soon. Once we take Paris, we can then try to flip this. Lots of, uh, lots of city flipping going on over there. 
And being in the Dark Age is not helping us. That much is clear. I'm getting like half loyalty, basically. So I can't take that into account when I'm getting angry at loyalty. Or I mean, I, I must tank, take that into account when I'm, when I'm getting annoyed at loyalty. Because we're in the pros, pro, uh, probably worst of conditions right now. Let's take a look at where everybody is. So Mongolia is in a golden age and we're in a dark age. Catherine's in the normal thing. So both of the people we're surrounded by, on, or on two sides, we have people with better loyalty than us. So the fact that we're even able to hold cities is probably actually impressive. Well, let's take this city back. But maybe since I was in a dark age, I should have been raising the cities. I think, I think that strategy, that, uh, that concept, probably still could have applied and been worthwhile for us. Okay, so Paris is now ours. Thank you, Paris, for being ours. Keep City, yes. Are we going to get another... Can there be multiple emergencies at once? Are we going to get another emergency declared on us? I have no idea if that's possible. Uh, how's this going to affect our loyalty overall? Will this actually flip next turn? We've got the guys around it to deal with it. Hopefully, let's see. Send him over here. Make sure that these guys are in, like, appropriate positions to move back in. Okay. Looking okay. Paris. Rebellion in three turns. I really need this era to end. How long is the modern era going to go? I want uh, I want it to end. Because I'll be in a heroic age, and then this thing will be a whole different deal. I can't move you, so you need to stay. You guys all need to stay. In your current spots. And you need to just continue healing, buddy. You need to stay there. <laughs> yeah, so this is it's dangerous right here. But we're doing okay. Alright, let's go pop out this. Let's have him move up and use his ability. We gave the other one bombardment. Let's give this one line of battle and combine them and which was I wanna see which one actually We ended up with line of battle. I wasn't sure how that worked out when they had two competing versions. I, I still haven't figured out all the nuances of those types of mechanics. So that was just an experiment to see which one. I, I would have preferred it to have bombardment, honestly, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. For right now, we're doing we're doing just fine. Okay, so I want this guy to go try to. Reduce loyalty somewhere, maybe La Rochelle. That must have been my Paris spy. Who is lower, uh, lowering loyalty there. Scythia. Oh, we're ac actually at war with Scythia, so... We're gonna have to deal with this. Our cavalry army is... Screwed. Unless we make peace with the France, end of any ideology. which we could do. Fascism time, guys. We're switching to get this. Uh, we want martial law. We definitely need that in place. I think we want lightning warfare. I think we want native conquest going, maybe. Or actually, let's do it levy and mass and just make our army cost less. Actually, no, I want logistics. 
Because we've got a lot of um, movement we have to do to make sure that we can keep our cities that are flipping around. So that's going to be handy. We might actually just take another... Another bonus there. Let's see. Another military bonus is what I meant to say. Let's see. Yeah, I'm actually going to take... I think I'm going to take Propaganda. I just want my people to be less annoyed at being in a constant battle. Plus four error score. Unnecessary, but thank you. Okay, so our cities are still intact. Next turn. 20 turns. One turn. Three turns. Okay, so... We've got a couple cities flipping next turn. We need to deal with this cavalry that's arrived. We need an army to stay here. I want to finally upgrade this guy. I think he has range, so I can put him up here and fire at these guys. Let's kill that one. We can get this tank army to come help out. I just want to kill these guys before they become an issue. Let's put our... We need to move him out of the way. There's a builder. Just send him out there to die. Let's put these guys in the city. For now. I don't want them getting destroyed. And we'll... Attack the cavalry that's in the back, because he's going to be easier to damage for the city. So, Rebellion... Ah, uh, we're going to lose our established governor next turn. That's not good. Should I look at establishing the governor in another city? We've got that governor up here. We've got this one in... We don't have enough time to establish him in a different city. So, he's going to get flipped out. That's going to suck. I'm not a fan of uh, how... I wish there was a... I wonder if there's a card that I haven't seen that helps your governors get established. Because it'd be nice to be able to establish governors faster. For wartime stuff. Let's see. Is there any talent up here with Cold War? Like, there's got to be more... Cards for loyalty than... Nope. They've decided not to care about it. Got a governor title up here. Governors... Ooh! Governors provide plus one loyalty per turn to their city per promotion the governor has. That's good. I don't know how, how high of a level we have for anybody, but that's an interesting one. No war weariness from combat in your territory. Most of our combat is outside of our territory. So, let's... Uh, Plus 20% science and 10% production in all cities. If there are five snow or snow hills tiles within three tiles of the city, the owner... Or with it, and owned by this player, then these yields are doubled. Must be built next to a campus with a research lab on snow or snow hill tiles. That's an interesting one. We don't have this stuff to trigger it, but uh, it's kind of cool. Luxuries. We get some of them going. Okay, let's build another tank up here. Wait. Why can't we build a tank? 
We don't have two oil. Okay. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Did we lose oil when a city flipped or something? Did we have a city flip? We didn't have a city flip. What happened to... I thought we were able to make those. I guess not. Let's build a stable just so we can make those better. You can obviously make it with the encampment already provided. Oh, probably I just had an Akana in all the cities I was making them. That makes sense. Don't get confused, Alden. It's okay. <laughs> Levi Strauss, go do it, brother. Give us those jeans. The portrait of Johann Joachim Winkelmann. Joachim. Alright, we want to send this to... Right, we need to spy in... Let's put a spy up in, like, Kesh Keshker. And maybe I should take Keshker. Just because it's got a population. I should probably take these two towns with population 10 and 11 because they're causing problems. But we'll send this guy up to Keshker to incite some uh, unrest. And that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to continue our war. And, I mean, we've taken Paris. We've taken Karakoram. So we've, we've only got... We've got two capitals we need to take still. But we need to be dealing with the... So far, we're managing the loyalty. It's annoying, but we're dealing with it. Who knows how long until the next era. I wonder if it tells me if I click. It does not. So, uh, yeah. We're going to continue struggling with this, but... I think it'll be okay. We'll, we'll deal with it. So, see you guys next time. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and I'll catch you guys later.